my gosh, the sun is absolutely beautiful. It's the most beautiful sunset. It's like pinks and oranges and purples and turquoises. I'm telling you, there is no more beautiful place in the world for sunsets than in Tucson. I don't care. Like, I love San Diego, and of course I love my ocean. There is no replacing my ocean. Um, but these sunsets are unbelievable. I wish there was a way that I could spin this over. Let's see if you guys can see that. See if it picks up on that. Let me see. It's kind of picking up. You see that a little bit? You see that? Ooh, ooh, yeah, you can see a little bit, a little corner of that. It's just pretty amazing. Isn't that Santa amazing? All right, I'll bring you back over here. It is just beautiful. It's amazing. I love Tucson sunsets. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you. I'm eight days off of not having any gas in our house because they found a leak in our alley of our house. But that's not the bad, that's not the bad part. The bad part, I mean, that's, I mean, whatever. We went eight days without gas when we just had to take cold showers. But I can't even tell you, I just really now know why I need to take um, cold showers. But the thing that's kind of a little bit more serious is... Um, that uh, we have a leak underneath our our uh, kitchen sink, and the, the uh, we're just kind of worried we're gonna have a plumber come out and look at it, and um, I just hope it's not black mold because that's just I mean that's just horrible. Um, we had a situation. I had a situation um, where one of my dear friends in San Diego was living in a house that had black mold, and she got really really sick. And the thing of it is, is, I have just been, I keep getting sick. And I thought at first, um, uh, I went on antibiotic. I thought, well, it was just like, you know, one of those sicknesses. But I'm literally, I have pain that goes to my bones. Really, really, uh, really, really uh, painful. Um, and I've just been, I just keep thinking that I have, um, that I'm just, you know, I'm just tired from teaching so much so anyway that's just definitely could use any of your prayers uh you can kind of can you kind of see the sunset back you can kind of see the sunset back there it's such a beautiful sunset i am going west is behind me i'm going east right now so i'm going away from the sunset it's just so pretty um but anyway you guys i'm going to go teach this is one of my absolute favorite classes to teach i love teaching this class i love all my um, I love all my little munchkadoodles that take this class. It's just a beautiful class. Um, I love all my girls. We're all just like super, uh, super, um, just super connected. And it's just, yeah, it's just a joy bomb to teach this class. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so tired though, you guys. I just cannot, I've got to just, I just do not have any energy. It's just so frustrating now. I did have energy uh, earlier this morning um, when I taught. In fact, I woke up and I felt really good, but I just do not feel like I have any, any energy right now. But it is the evening, so you know who's going to have a lot of energy, um, you know, at the end of the day anyway to teach. I mean, it's always like kind of like, I always, I think that I do my best. Like, I love teaching in the morning. I like to teach at night, but I just love teaching in the morning. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to teach, and then after I teach, I think what I'm going to do is, um, I wish I could find my goggles. I keep forgetting to put my goggles in my car, um, because what I really want to do is I really want to start swimming, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just do kicking. I'll do, uh, kicking with the kickboard. Um, but how are you guys doing? It is, it is like approaching, these holidays are like nipping at our heels, and as important and fun as it is to, you know, <laughs> important and fun as it is to work because you need to pay your bills, right? But that's what I was going to say. Um, I was just going to say, like, be present. Definitely, you know, go to some music concerts. Uh, you know, if your church has music, go listen to beautiful church music. Um, you know, whatever music you like to listen to. Definitely take time in your life to go and kind of smell the roses. I will tell you guys, like, no joke. Um, 
it just, I can't even tell you. It's like, I just, I feel like, I just feel so blessed to have hot water. In fact, it's really interesting. It's actually made me really hugely passionate just about understanding cultures and families and people that don't have hot water. You know, it's, um, it's pretty amazing. It kind of reminds me, like, when I was younger, my mother was a school teacher, and she raised all of us on, um, you know, three kids on a teacher's uh, salary. I don't know how she did it. And, um, and she let us each have our own dog. We each had our own animals. I had a parakeet. I had, my gosh, I think at one time I had two or three parakeets. And then I had guinea pigs. And I actually, I used to raise guinea pigs. And I would sell them at the little market on the weekends. I think I sold them for like $5 a guinea pig. But I raised what are called Abyssinian and Peruvian guinea pigs. They have really long, beautiful hair. Like you can comb their hair. Um, that's so funny. Maybe I should get a guinea pig. I just loved my guinea pig. Um, not now in my life, but someday I want to get back to guinea pigs. Because I just, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. And I tell you what, I had the most beautiful guinea pigs. Um, I had a black and white one. I had an all white one. Oh my gosh, I just loved my guinea pigs. Um, we also, when we were little... Um, it's funny, my mom, because uh, we grew up in South, like the South Bend, Indiana, actually Mishawaka is where we were from. My mom worked at um, a private school, a prep school in South Bend, and um, she knew someone, or somehow she knew someone that did experiments on rats, and she wanted to rescue them, so she said, if you ever have extra white rats, lab rats, uh, my daughter would love to rescue them. And so, um, it was so sweet. Ralph was my rat. I'll never forget him. He was the freaking smartest thing in the world. And even cooler than being so... Well, he was just, like, so smart. Um, but he would literally, like, he would sit on my shoulder. He would crawl up on my head. He'd go to my other shoulder. Um, and then I had a little Kleenex box that he would live in on my little Kleenex box. And I would study at night. And he'd go in the little Kleenex box and he'd sit in there and he'd come out and sit on my shoulder and walk on my head. And, um, I mean, he even learned how to sit under my hat so that I wouldn't get in trouble if my mother came in and he was like, cause you know, sometimes, you know, I was supposed to be sitting or whatever. I would study. I was the kind of girl I would just like, if I had to study for an exam, I would freaking like bulldoze down and study for it. Um, and, um, anyway, my rat Ralph would always like sit on my hat um sit on me under on my head and I would put my hat over just really lightly like if my mom would walk in or whatever just so I couldn't get in trouble and he literally wouldn't even move a whisker he would just like it would be like he would know you know and then as soon as she would get out you know I would tip the hat and he would crawl down but I loved my I loved my little uh I loved my little pet rat he was amazing and it was so smart if you don't have the facilities to have a dog, uh, I would highly recommend a rat or a guinea pig. They're super, my rat was super clean too. You would think like a rat seems kind of like dirty and icky, but he was super clean and um, just really uh, fastidious just to kind of about himself. So, and he would like clean himself and preen himself like a little cat. He was a really cool rat. Um, isn't that funny? That was one of my... It's just so funny. It's so funny, like, to remember your pets. Write in the comments below, what are some of your favorite pets that you had when you were little? And what were their names? And what kind of pets did you have? Did you have, you know, dogs, horses? We also had horses, Barney. Uh, excuse me, his name was... was Barn, Barnaby. His name was Barnaby. He was a big, beautiful, warm, blood, warm blood thoroughbred. Beautiful, beautiful uh, boy. Um, we just had all kinds of, my mom was really neat about, that's one thing that my mother did, well, she did a lot of really cool good things, but that was a pretty awesome, she was always really supportive and understanding about me having animals, because I've just like, I mean, if I could have been a vet, I would have been a vet. I just had to pay, pay for my school, and uh, I just couldn't afford to keep going. Now that I know, it's just like, man, I would have really pushed myself to try to do just whatever it took to do that because I just love animals so much but um anyway um you guys I am here and I'm gonna dodge in 
to uh, teach. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you guys how excited I get about teaching this class. I just love these girls. Wow, there's like so many spaces. Where is everybody? Where are all of our little uh, people? Usually it's like um, packed in here. But anyway, love you guys. Remember, sit in your light, sit in your truth, and above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys. Bye.